Arsenal came out with a 3-1 victory at home against Manchester United. To be honest, I'm still buzzing from the game. A huge result for us. I mean, the grit we showed to come back and win the game gives me so much belief and genuine optimism that we can go all the way this season. But, you know, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, let's just, let's just take it game by game. So speaking of that, in today's video, I'm going to be giving my ratings for the game against United. So what's going on everyone, you're listening to Gunner Central here, I hope you're all doing well. So in goal, we had Aaron Ramsdale, I've given him a 7 out of 10. He did make a very good double save towards the end of the game, and his distribution was good besides one or two dodgy passes, if one I can think of top of my head was in the first half, I can't remember the exact thing, but it was early in the first half. But and the goal, he, the goal we conceded that uh, Rashford scored, he couldn't really do anything about that. I mean, getting off the post, what can we do about that? So overall, I've given Aaron Ramsdale a 7. Left back, probably could have gone higher here for Zinchenko, but I've given him an 8. Excellent, excellent, excellent performance from the Ukrainian. He played extremely well when we had the ball. And when we're off the ball, he even defended to a high level, kept Anthony reasonably quiet. Anthony was just doing his mockery, his, his stupid dribbling that didn't do anything to anyone. That's all he did. He couldn't really get past the defense and it really caused trouble for us. So Zinchenko really defended well. Very happy he's back in the starting 11. What a player he is. He has to start for us in our next game after the international break. Two center backs. We'll go with Gabriel first. Glad to see you back in the lineup, but we'll get on to that now. I've given Gabriel a 7 out of 10. He did very well. He nullified Martial as much as he could. But I do want to say when Hoyland came on, Gabriel looked a little more human, I guess. And he struggled a little bit. I can't, I will, will, I'm going to make a video about, you know, these United fans and, and the claims that they made throughout the game. One of those claims that Gabriel fouled and a fouled Hoyland in the penalty area I'm not even going to entertain that that's not a foul but we'll get on to that in another video but yeah Gabriel goes 7 out of 10 you know he held down the fort very well and he did everything he could to ensure that Garnacho was offside try to pull back his whole body maybe a little dodgy uh, maybe you would prefer him to just you know he he should have actually been held up higher than that but he, he got caught in bad position but he recovered and he kept Garnacho offside so I've given Gabriel a 7 out of 10 the next center back is William Saliba. I've given him 8 out of 10. It's another top performance from our French center back. Boy, I love this kid so much. It's, he's just so good. Besides maybe the goal where you would have liked him and Ben White to maybe close down Rashford more and squeeze the space and not allow Rashford to get his shots off. But other than that, Saliba was dominant. He controlled the defense. He really really made it difficult for United to get uh, open on goal and very very happy with Saliba 8 out of 10 right back so glad to see him back at right back Ben White probably can go higher here as well but I've given him a 7 out of 10 wasn't overlapping as much as I would like him to do but then again it's his first game playing uh, right back for the whole season um, but his link on play with Saka and Martin Odegaard when he did push up Oh, like you, you just we you could just see we missed it in the first couple games of the season. Very happy with how Bay White played. He wasn't a, he wasn't really ever suspect. Rashford was a hard hard matchup for him, and he did reasonably well. So I've given Ben a seven out of ten. Now the CDM, arguably one of my favorite players in the squad right now, Declan Rice. I've given him Mr. Rice. I've given him a nine out of ten. A nine out of ten. Probably could be a ten, but. I'm going to say 9. It's another win, another man of the match for him. He's a 105 million pound player, and I keep saying this, but he keeps making the field look smaller and smaller the better he plays. He is just so, so good throughout the game, making crunching challenges, cutting off passing lanes, winning aerial duels, and of course, getting the winning goal in the 96th minute. An amazing game from Declan, and a great performance once again from our English holding midfielder so happy with Declan Rice 9 out of 10 yeah now central midfield from one high to the next or one high to one extreme to the next that's that that's it central midfield Kai Harris yeah I've given him a 4 out of 10 look I really really want Kai to prove all the haters wrong desperately I'd say desperately I want him to prove all the haters wrong 
I, I, I've even made a video about why I think Kai will succeed at Arsenal and I still agree to that. I still do definitely agree that in the right system he will flourish at Arsenal. But that performance that he just gave against United didn't really give me much confidence. He just seems like he's scared to mess up. He's making the safe play and doing the simple things well, but that's about it. He fluffed his lines so much in front of goal. It's, I'm getting a little worried now if he just has the yips. Um, and that pass, I mean, awful and lazy. But then again, Saka also had, that, had a poor pass against Fulham at home. So, look, regardless of whether he plays good or bad, I'm going to be... 100, 110% behind Kai as long as he represents Arsenal. Hopefully he can, you know, I don't know, just kick it and get going. But yeah, I don't know if he starts the next game. I don't know if he should start the next game. But we'll get onto that. That's another topic for another day. I'm giving Kai Havertz a four out of ten. Next central midfielder, Martin Odegaard, our captain. Yet another solid performance. I've given him a seven out of ten. You know, he led the press very well with Nketiah. He helped control position for a lot of the game. And of course, he got that instant reaction goal to get us right back in it. Another solid performance from our captain. Very happy with Martin. Still could be a little bit better, I think. There's still another gear for him, but for now, I've given him a 7 out of 10. Left wing, Gabby Martinelli. This is probably his best performance of the season. I've given him an 8 out of 10. Some of you might think it's too high, some of you might think it's too low, but in my opinion, an 8 out of 10 is about right. He is such a good player. By far, like I said, by far his best performance of the season. Him and wan going at it all game. Boy, was that a good matchup to watch. I'm so happy that Martinelli did what he did, and he had a really good performance to see him back to the Martinelli we know from last season. Hopefully we get to see more of this now and, you know, we get to see Martinelli kick in and get a goal hopefully for us to um, kick start him for the season. Striker, Edin Ketia, I've given him a 7 out of 10. Yes, he didn't get a goal, but Eddie has really improved his game all around. Let's be honest, guys. Last season, when we watched Eddie, he would, a lot like Haaland, now definitely not as good as Haaland, but like Haaland, he'd go disappearing for the game and he'd get a nice goal and we'd all forget about that this season it looks like Nketiah has really improved that you notice him throughout the game I mean his link up play his hold up play he's so active he presses so hard he works his socks off he doesn't have to score for you to feel the impact of Eddie Nketiah very very happy for this man to get his England call up I'm definitely hoping that he gets whatever a substitute appearance at least for the three lines so I'm very happy for Eddie 7 out of 10 that I think is about fair. Right wing star boy Bukayo Saka. Yeah, I've given him a 6 out of 10. Overall, it was quite a quiet game from Bukayo. United managed to double team him and, and, and keep him reasonably quiet. He did have that chance in the second half that he definitely should have should have tucked away against Onana. But look, I think uh, luckily we had other players stepping up. Kai had quite a quiet game. Um, we've seen much better from him, so I've given him a 6 out of 10. Let's go to the substitutions now. Gabriel Jesus, I've given him a 7 out of 10. Probably would have been higher if he had been on for longer. He scored an amazing composed goal to put the cherry on the cake. And overall, or icing on the cake. Why does icing on the cake? And overall, he was menacing and he was pressing that United back line. I don't know if he will start over in Ketia in the next game, I suppose. Uh, Jesus should be fit enough by then, but I, I think he should. I think he definitely should start the next game. As, as good as Eddie has been, I think it's really good to have these two strikers in such high competition. But for me, Jesus should start the next game if he's fully fit. 7 out of 10. That goal was just pure class from Gabby. So happy that he got his first goal of the season. Tommy Asu, 6 out of 10. He didn't do much, but he helped us secure off that flank made it difficult for United to penetrate us and he defended quite well when he had to. I would have probably even maybe a 7 had he started but I think a 6 is quite fair for what he was doing. Fabio Vieira, I've given Fabio Vieira a 7 out of 10. He got the assist for the third Jesus goal, well for the first Jesus goal but third overall Arsenal goal and overall Vieira played a very solid game for the time that he had been on. Very good, I'm very happy to see Vieira starting to come out of his shell and be the player that we saw at Porto. Very happy for Fabio Vieira. 
And the last sub, uh, Reese Nelson. I've given him an honor play ball and there's no, there's no rating for him. He just didn't have enough time, but he was really good with his on. He brought some energy to that flank. He was winning 50-50s. He was dribbling the ball beautifully. He was creating chances. It was a bright spot. For sure, Reese Nelson is definitely going to get a lot of game time this season. Those are the subs. And Arteta, I've given Arteta a 7 out of 10. Look, we could have easily got a draw if Declan didn't bail us out, right? I'm happy to see Arteta bring that normal backline back. Maybe because Partey wasn't injured, so any reason we see it. Although, hopefully that's not the case. I feel like the reason is not anything higher because I, for some reason, think that Arteta is trying to force Havertz in the starting eleven. But besides that, overall, it was a good game from us. We managed it well. I'm very happy with the performance. I think a draw would have left a sour taste, but the performance itself would have been okay. And, you know, goals change games. And we scored two important goals at the end, and it's now made us look at it a little more positively. Now it's on to the international break. Having won three and drawn one in four Premier League games, which coincidentally is the exact same as last season at this stage four games played three one one drawn but with all this being said i would love to know your guys' thoughts in the comments and who was your man of the match how did you rate make the performance what ratings would you change who would you maybe bump up take down let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one